guys, it's Alexis and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming an exciting video for you guys. I'm super excited. So I'm going to be starting off my Halloween series slash season this year on my channel with today's video which is going to be the Halloween tag as you guys can tell by the title. And I'm super excited to film this because Halloween and fall is literally my favorite time of the whole entire year. I love spooky. I like... I like how the weather starts changing and getting to like fall weather. I like haunted houses, I like carving pumpkins, going to corn mazes, corn mazes, is that what they're called? Cornfields, something like that. But I like doing all that, so I'm super excited for this time of year. And I'm definitely starting the season early. I don't know if you guys could tell already, but I went all out and decorated my whole vanity, my whole room, and I'm just so excited. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. So I'm doing the 30 spooky Halloween tag questions that I'm gonna be answering all 30 questions for you guys today and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video so the first question is a favorite horror or Halloween theme song and PS I'm sick so if my voice sounds a little off I'm so sorry I'm sick I'm, I'm sick there's nothing I could do but anyways first question favorite horror or Halloween theme song so my favorite Halloween theme song is probably Thriller by Michael Jackson I really like it and it's probably something you would hear at a party and it's the most classic, and I just, I, don't know, I really like that song. Number two, name something you wouldn't want to run into in a dark forest or in an abandoned building. So my worst fear is probably clowns. I know, so basic, but they're pretty scary. The new It clown is looking really scary, and they're just, they're really creepy looking to me. Like, they're not scary. Like, they are scary, but they're creepy looking. They look really creepy to me, so I probably wouldn't want to be, like, you know, in an abandoned forest with them. Number three, have you ever played with an Ouija board? No, I have not, and nor do I plan to do it. Um, I mean, I really do believe in the Ouija board. I really feel like it could bring spirits into your house and all that stuff. I mean, I'm not religious or anything, but I wouldn't like to mess with, like, spirits or with, like, demons and the devil and all that stuff. I don't know. I just, I wouldn't want to mess with that, so no, I haven't ever messed with an Ouija board. Number four, favorite horror monster or villain? So my favorite horror monster or villain is probably um, the monster from Monsters, Inc. I don't know if that counts. He's so cute. The blue one, I forget what he's called. Sully? No, he's not called Sully. He, I don't really remember what he's called. I know I feel so dumb, but it's the blue, you know, the big blue monster from Monster, Inc. Probably that one. Number five, the creepiest thing that's ever happened while you were alone. So, while I was alone, let's see what happened. Okay, so there was this one time I was alone in my room. I wasn't alone at home, but I was alone in my room at nighttime, you know? And I woke up in the middle of the night, you know, I was kind of groggy, like half awake, half asleep, so I don't even know what was real or what was it. But I swear to this day, I literally seen ghosts. I seen like this like old lady in my room and this man, and it was the creepiest thing ever. No one believes me, but I swear I seen ghosts. And it's so creepy, but I really swear I seen ghosts. So that was probably the creepiest thing that's happened to me to this day. But yeah, I was young too. I was like six, so who knows? Who knows if that was right? Next question, number six. If you were dared to spend the night in a haunted house, would you do it? I feel like I would do it. It depends on the circumstances though. If I was by myself, no, I probably wouldn't do it. If I was with a group of friends, probably, but it depends if it's really haunted or if it's just an abandoned house. Like if it's just an abandoned house, then yeah, I'd probably do it. If it was actually scientifically proven that it's haunted, probably not. Cause you know, I'd want to have, be haunted. I have so many goals. Okay. Number seven. Are you superstitious? Uh, no, I wouldn't say I am. Number eight. Do you ever see figures in your par peripheral vision? Um, sometimes. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I think I'll see someone off like, what the heck? And no one's there. So yes, I do sometimes see, you know, figures. Number nine, which urban legend scares you the most? So the urban legend that scares me the most is probably the La Reina. Like the, have, I don't know if you guys have heard it, it's La, the La Reina, like it's in Spanish. And it's about the girl who like killed her baby and she lives in like lakes and rivers. And the reason it scares me the most is because my mom told me the story. I don't know if it's real or not, but she said one day when she was young, she was with all her cousins in the mountain and they were all camping and they were by the lake. And you know, they say in the legend, like you'll start hearing crying because she likes to feed on children that are by themselves. And they were all children by themselves, and she started hearing crying by the lake and everything. And she told me that's why she believes it's real, so that's why it freaks me out. So I don't ever go nowhere by myself in the mountains, because I don't want to get taken by, like, the La Reina. Nope. Okay, next question. Oh, where'd it go? 
Number 10, do you prefer gore or thrillers? So I personally prefer thrillers. I like being scared and I like having a thrill, you know, so yeah. Number 11, do you believe in multiple dimensions or worlds? Yes, I do believe in multiple dimensions or worlds. I feel like there's so much out there in the world. There's so much land, there's so much islands, there's the space just itself. There's just so much stuff out there. How could there not be anything else? We can't be the only living human things here. So yes, I absolutely believe in that. <clears throat> Number 12, have you ever made a potion of any sort? No, I have not. Number 13, do you get scared easily? Yes, I truly get scared easily, no doubt. I get scared over everything. I get scared of cats, literally. Number 14, have you ever played Bloody Mary? Okay, here's the thing. So when I was younger, I tried it one time. I was with a bunch of friends. I was in elementary school, though, like, no older than 6th grade because my elementary school went up to 6th grade, so I was probably, like, in 4th or 5th or 6th grade or whatever. And, you know, at that time, it was super popular, so everyone was trying it. And I was with my friends who did it, and nothing ever happened. Don't ever mess with that. I'm never going to do that ever again. I was young, so I really didn't know. But yes, I did do it when I was really young. Do you believe in demons and the devil? Absolutely. I mean, I'm not, like I said, I'm not religious, but I do believe in God and Jesus and all that. So I feel like if there's, like, a God and Jesus, there has to be a devil, right? So yeah, I, I do believe in that. I've watched The Exorcist and Exorcism, so I know, I, I mean, I've seen that there could be really demons and people could really be possessed. So yeah, I, I do believe in that. Number 16, you're home alone, but but you hear footsteps in your house. What do you do? So if I heard footsteps in my house, it depends. Like, I know, if I was home alone completely and I knew no one was going to be home till the next day, I'm going to jump out my window. Like, I'm not going to be dumb like the people in scary movies and go out there and be like, Hello? Who's there? Who's, who's there? And then the killer's going to pop up and be like, Oh, hey, I'm right here. I'm about to kill you. No, I'm probably going to jump out my window, you know, because I'd be smart in a scary movie. Number 17, if you got trapped in one scary movie, which would you choose? But that's a hard one because I wouldn't want to be trapped in any scary movie. <clears throat> but if I had to choose, hmm, I don't know. There's so many. Hmm. Freddy Cougar scary. I don't know, they're also scary. Probably, probably like the exorcism. I know that sounds creepy, but I don't know. I feel like I'd want to see an exorcism done in person. And, I mean, could they possess you? I don't know. Well, yeah, I probably could, huh? I don't know. I approach this exorcism because, like, I was thinking of Freddy Cougar, but I fall asleep, like, literally by 8 o'clock every single night, so I'd be dead right away. So that wouldn't be a good idea. Uh, next question. 18. If you could only wear one Halloween costume for the rest of your life, what would you be? Hmm. I would probably... I'd want to be something cute. I thought I'd want to be something scary. Hmm. Like, you know all those pretty makeup, like the pretty scary skull makeup looks that everyone does, like they were doing last year was really popular? I probably want to be something like that. I don't know if that counts as Halloween costume. But yeah, that's what I want to be. <laughs> oh, wait. Number 19, would you ever go to a graveyard at night? Yeah, I would. I really want to do that, actually. I mean, I don't know if it sounds just respectful or not. But I kind of want to try it out, you know, do something different, but would I ever probably do it? Probably, I probably wouldn't do it, but it's something I want to do, if that makes sense. Number 20, in a zombie apocalypse, what is your weapon of choice? My weapon of choice is probably going to be like a gun, or like a big, a big sword, like I'm talking big sword, it's going to chop everything off, you know, because I don't want to die. Number 21, would you rather go to a Halloween party or go trick or treating? Definitely trick-or-treating. Who who likes going to parties nowadays? I don't even go to parties, so definitely trick-or-treating. You know, I'm still a kid at heart. Gonna be 18 next year, and I'm still gonna be trick-or-treating. Number 22. You're in a horror movie. Are you the final Are you the final girl, the first to die, the comic relief, the skeptic, the smart one, or the killer? So I'd either be the first one to die or the killer. No doubt. Those are like to do no in between. I'm either the killer and I'm killing everyone, or I'm gonna be the first one to die. No doubt. Alright, number 23. Do you have to watch something happy after watching a horror movie so you can go to sleep? Yep. The first time I watched The Exorcism, The Exorcism, The Exorcism of, I don't know, it's one on Netflix. Oh my gosh, that movie scared the life out of me. And it was like 11 o'clock at night, everyone was asleep, and I was like, I'm wide awake now. And I thought The Exorcism girl was like going to come crawling on my ceiling to get me. So I watched Alvin and the Chipmunks after because the chipmunks made me go to sleep. I'd rather have that in my dreams than the exorcism. 
Number 24. While watching scary movies, are you the person who yells at the characters, the person with their eyes covered the whole time, or the person who falls asleep? I'm the one yelling at the characters. Like I said earlier, they're so dumb in scary movies. Like if they hear a killer or they hear someone walking in, they go over there or they open the door and they're like, hello, like the killer's gonna come and say, I'm right here, I'm about to kill you. Yeah, I get really bad in scary movies, so don't ever watch a scary movie with me. The next question is, are you the one who gets scared or the one who does the scaring? I'm usually the one who gets scared. I'm not a really good scare. The only one time I ever scared someone was my mom. She was like, she was coming out of the laundry room and we have like this little corner like around the laundry room and the hallway lights were off so I jumped out and scared her and that was like the biggest scare and I ever did so credits to me. Favorite scary book? My favorite scary book is probably, you know that book when we were in elementary, it was like the black and white book and it was called Scary Stories and had all the scary stories in it. That was my all time favorite scary book and I still love it to this day. I have all four and yeah, that's been my favorite book since like the second grade. Number 27, how old were you when you saw your first horror movie? So I think I was like eight or something, seven or eight, because I remember my first scary movie I watched was Chucky. I know, so crazy, but that was my first scary movie i just watched the new chucky chucky movie yesterday not scary at all scary at all movies changed so much and i'm literally so sad because it wasn't scary at all like the first one number 28 what was your first halloween costume my first halloween costume i think i was dora i'm pretty sure i was dora i don't know i could be wrong if i'm wrong i'll put it right here somewhere in the screen what i was first but i'm pretty sure it was dora because i was super obsessed with dora when i was younger Number 29, what are you going to be for Halloween this year? Girl, I don't even know because I'm so last minute. I'm literally going to choose my Halloween costume on October 30th. That's that's when I choose my Halloween costume, you know. Because I don't know, I have no time. All that it was work, go to school, sleep. I don't have time to think about that. So I should start thinking about that now, though. Number 30, if you could have a spooky Halloween pet, a black cat, an owl, a bat, a rat, or a wolf, what would you pick? I would choose a wolf because rats are nasty. Bats are basically a rat that flies. An owl would creep me out with its head turning around. And a black cat. I'm allergic to cats, so I'd probably choose a wolf. As long as it wouldn't, like, kill me. If I'm guaranteed it's not going to kill me and eat me in my sleep, then I'm going with the wolf, you know? The wolf. Because wolves are beautiful anyway. So that completes all the 30 questions of the Halloween spooky tag. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I hope this video gets you guys excited and pumped up for the Halloween season and the series and my Halloween series I'm going to be starting for you guys. I'm super excited to start it and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got to know my Halloween side a little bit more. If you guys did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and as always, make sure to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next Halloween video. Bye!